Well, joining me now is a special guest, Ross Babbage, CEO of Strategic Forum and the author of a new book, The Next Major War, Can the US and Its Allies Win Against China? Welcome to the program. Great to have you with us. Uh, well, what do you think, what is the likelihood of us having a major war against China this century? Well, unfortunately, it's, uh, it's higher. Uh, it's a higher probability than many of us would want. Uh, and the reason for that really is uh, Xi Jinping, has, the, the uh, Chinese president, has made it very clear uh, that uh, Taiwan must be incorporated, can and must are the terms he often uses, uh, it be incorporated into China. The Taiwanese, of course, don't want anything to do with that. And the US President Biden has uh, four times since his election made mm. clear that if uh, China attacks uh, Taiwan, uh, the United States will be there uh, to help defend Taiwan. And so that really means that we, here we have the two major powers, the global powers in the, the Indo-Pacific at loggerheads. And it's very hard to see um, how this situation can be resolved unless mm. we can get some sort of cooling of the, of the, uh, of the temperature and get people talking more seriously together. Mm. When you speak to Australia's political leaders, they seem to say that there's two arms, two things that Australia needs to do to protect our sovereignty. Uh, the first is making sure our defence, spending our defence equipment is up to scratch, which it's not at the moment. And the second is having the alliance in place, alliances like the Quad, to make sure that we have those strategic partnerships to counter China. How do you think Australia is going on, on both of those uh, areas? Look, um, we really do need to do a lot more and a lot quicker uh, in getting uh, the defence system organised. And in particular, um, we might have to actually, whether we like it or not, we might find ourselves fighting um, with our, alongside our, our American and other allies much faster than we anticipate. So we've really got to be ready within two or three years uh, mm. to cope with the, uh, that, that sort of really um, terrible scenario. And that really means we need a lot more consumables, particularly for the military side, a lot of more munitions and, and a lot of other things to decide. In terms of but the relationship just, building... Just apologies for interrupting you, but you think it could be as sure. soon as two to three years that, there's, that, that something unfolds over Taiwan? I do, and I'm not the only one. Uh, there was a recent poll of uh, international security uh, analysts in uh, the United States and 70% uh, believed uh, that uh, there could be, um, there is likely to be uh, a major war in the Indo-Pacific within this decade. And we've had uh, uh, two successive directors of the CIA um, in testimony of Congress uh, make it very clear that uh, A, Xi Jinping has, mm. um, uh, has asked his military to be ready by 2027 to fight a major war. Mm. Uh, and, and B, uh, that uh, they believe that um, the risk is very high. Uh, mm -hmm. So, and also all the detailed analysis we've done ourselves uh, with our partners and friends uh, come to the same conclusion. Yes. This is a very serious situation and I think we need to be much more prepared and get ourselves ready in the military, in the relationship building, but also with our economic development to make sure we can withstand whatever comes. Yeah.